my high heel shoes. When I was studying at the university in Chile, it was a common practice for women to wear high heel shoes. At that time, no one questioned this. High heel shoes were an expected part of professional attire for women as they entered the workplace. Then, when I started working as an organizational psychologist, I felt I was facing a world of giants. The industry, it was competitive and led mostly by men. The women who work in the high positions of companies always wore high heel shoes. So that's what I did too. I adapt myself in an effort to reach their height. No matter how many streets I walk in them, if I had to move things or climb stairs, I was always wearing high heel shoes. They seem to give my voice a strength, and I have the feeling that if my shoes were not high enough, nobody could see or hear me. Who would listen to a woman in low shoes talking about teamwork and collaboration in a world where it seems only numbers matter? My high heel shoes were in a way to appear powerful and independent in this business world, even if I didn't feel this way inside. I was convinced that if I tried to fulfill societal expectations, I would be closer to achieving happiness and success. I kept walking in my high heel shoes for a few years until I realized the least of things a woman was expected to do and be, it was endless. It was not just about the shoes. It was about our physique, our ideas, our role at work and home. It was the pressure to marry and then get pregnant while remaining productive and efficient. It was about Staying young, no showing emotions, working the same or more than our male counterparts, but receiving less salary. It was the fact that men could wear low shoes, while women had to wear high heel shoes for the same work. <clears throat> Just as I began questioning the fairness of this life, I was aware of the impact high heel shoes had on my mother. She had worn high heel shoes for her entire adult life, and now walking in low shoes caused her pain in her spine. I knew I didn't want the same life for me. I decided to quit everything, every expectation, and every message that society communicated telling me that I was still so far to become the perfect woman. With this, I gave up my high heel shoes and I gave away all my office clothes. I made the decision to make a big change in my life and I moved to Canada, accepting an offer in the Bow Valley. At first, I didn't speak the language. I didn't understand the social rules, and I didn't know what kind of shoes I needed to wear. <laughs> it was cold, it was snowing. I had no friends. I had no family. I cried often. I was not happy here either. It took me effort and time before I understood I understood it's not about the social rules or what kind of shoes I wear. It's about finding a space inside of me where I feel good. It's about writing my own rules and wearing my own choice of shoes. It's about the opportunity to create a life that makes sense for me. I, be wa I began working on my self-love and on what I dreamed for me. 
after a few years living here in Canada, I bought my first pair of high heel shoes since leaving Chile. They are red, striking and strong. They express how I feel now, with confidence in myself, in my voice, and in my own through. No matter where I am, or what shoes I wear, these are the feelings that I'm taking with me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.